I'm Maggie. Welcome to Experiments in Crafting. Today I'm going to be showing you Yarn B Scrubology Scrub It Yarn. This yarn is 100% nylon. It is a tube style yarn, so it's made of a nylon tube that's knit full of nylon stuffing. This yarn comes in 85 gram balls. Each ball has 79 yards or 73 meters. It's a number five bulky weight yarn. Yarn B recommends a US 10 or six millimeter knitting needle or a J hook, which is also a six millimeter crochet hook. Scrub It comes in eight different colors and these colors are really vivid, bright colors. Because this is nylon and not cotton, the colors can be really intense. So here I have bright pink and I also have aqua worked up into a small dishcloth. For this washcloth, I worked the nubby crochet stitch and I put a double crochet border all the way around the edge. I found this yarn really easy to work with. The tube style yarns, um, just by the way that they're constructed, are not able to be splitty. Um, you can't really split your stitches at all like you can with dishcloth cotton. Um, however, the yarn is really, really abrasive on your hands. So I've worked with a number of the uh, Red Heart scrubby yarns and those can start to wear on your fingers and this one is no different in that regard. Um, it, it has a really abrasive texture like the backside of a sponge, uh, which is great for the application. Like if you wanna make a really good scrubber or a washcloth for the kitchen, this is really a good yarn choice for that. But if you wanna make a whole bunch of Christmas presents to give these away um, as gifts, you're going to have to start really early in the year because it's really gonna start eating into your hands if you make lots of them. Because these are only 85 gram balls, um, I think that if I had worked either one row less or used a slightly less uh, yarn intensive pattern, that I could have gotten two crochet dishcloths out of each ball. But as it stands, this cloth took me 50 grams, which only leaves me 35 grams left out of the ball. One of the things that I found that was really odd about this yarn is that it sort of totally fell apart on me. Um, so when I, when I pulled the end out of the center, the outside and the inside ends had become tangled together and I, I had to unknot them. And to do that, I removed the outside label on the ball and the yarn just kept coming off the package. And I've never really had that happen. Um, generally yarn is pretty happy to stay in the, like in this skein form or this ball form. Um, and this ball just kept unwinding and unwinding. And you can see, I've tried to like rewrap it and it really became a tangled mess on me pretty quickly. Um, I don't know that it would be any better to try and rewrap it into a ball or try and cake it up. Um, it's just kind of a heavy yarn that doesn't really interact with itself. Um, by that I mean that there are no like fibers sticking out where they can like sort of hold each other together with friction. So just keep that in mind when you work with this yarn. Um, I would almost suggest working from the outside. I know generally when you work with this style of ball, you want to pull from the center. But in this case, I would maybe work from the outside so that you don't have that problem. Um, because once you get the center worked out of this, it's going to start collapsing and it just kind of got out of control pretty quickly. When most people think about scrubby yarns, they generally are talking about Red Heart scrubby yarns and they have a whole line of different yarns available, but they don't actually have anything like this. This tube style yarn that has this really scrubby ab abrasive texture to it is unique to this yarn as far as I can tell. Um, one of the other things that's really nice about this yarn is that it is very beginner friendly and easy to use. The scrubby yarns achieve their scrubby texture by being eyelash yarn like. Um, in that I mean they have like little nubs and like little pieces that stick out all over the place. And it can actually be really difficult to see your stitches and how you're working things up. Um, this yarn was really easy to work with. Like I said, it it just slid off my hook and doesn't split, and I think it's very beginner friendly while still achieving the same end, which is something very abrasive, good for the kitchen. I can't really think of too many projects besides dishcloths that this yarn would be good for. 
Um, it really is too abrasive for anything that would be anywhere near your skin. Um, because it's nylon, I don't know that I would recommend using it with hot things. Um, nylon's still plastic, and so you might be cautious using it for something like a trivet or a placemat or a potholder of any sort. So um, really, I think you're pretty limited to dishcloths and little scrubbers, but I think it's really good for that job. If you have any questions about Yarnbee's Scrubology Scrub It Yarn, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber and you don't seem to be getting notifications about the channel, go ahead and hit the bell. And then when there is a drop down menu, you should change it from personalized to all. That way you'll get the most notifications for the channel possible. As always, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Experiments and Crafting. Those are great places to ask me any questions that you have about a particular crochet stitch or about any of the yarns that you see featured here. They're also a great place to share finished objects or finished projects with me. I love seeing anything that you guys are making from any of my videos. Thanks for watching.